Hey everybody, it's Brett. I've uh, never done a Let's Play video before, but I just came across this great game called Space Beast Terror Fright. <laughs> Best video game name ever. Um, made by Nornware AB in Sweden, and uh, I got the demo, and it's just great. And there are like no videos of it yet, um, or very few, because I think people are just finding out about this game, so... I, uh, I figured I would make a Let's Play video and try to share it with the world. So, I'm just going to start a new game. This game is uh, inspired by the movie Aliens, which is one of my favorite movies of my childhood. Um, I just loved how scary that movie was and claustrophobic and just dark. And that's exactly what this game, you know, feels like. It's got those same kind of emotions and aesthetics and quality to them. So the idea is that you are a space marine of some sort. So you can see at the top of the screen my name is Victoria Drake and you have been tasked with going into this spaceship, abandoned spaceship, and uh, downloading some kind of data which is important for some reason or another. It doesn't really go into that. Not much of a story to this game, but it really doesn't need one. This game's all about the gameplay. Um, and anyway, this spaceship has been infested with aliens, and they are very deadly. So one hit will kill you. One hit. You do not have HP health points. Oh, jeez. And there are a bunch of them behind that door. Just hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make a run for it. There's a sentry over here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Good. <laughs> right. Where was I? Uh, yes. So, aliens. Oh, jeez, look at all them. You can see them on my motion tracker. Look at that. Oh, jeez, look at all those blips. Alright, not going that way. Change of plans. Um, right, so one hit, one kill on these aliens. They touch you, you're dead. Uh, <laughs> like that. Uh, good. So the thing is, they're not very fast. And, uh, you know, a few short bursts from your rifle, you can take them out. Um, but they can sneak up on you. It is dark in here. And, uh, you know, they can get the jump on you. So anyway in here for my uh, second go, and you notice this is not the level we were in before. That's because every time you play the game, the layout is randomly generated. Um, so I guess some people would call this a quality of roguelikes. Um, that word gets thrown around a lot lately. Um, certainly in vogue, but yeah. You know, it has permanent death, permadeath, as it's called, and levels randomly regenerate, which means every time you play through, you get a different experience. And for this game, that's very important because I'm I'm totally lost right now. You know, I can sort of I could find my way back to the airlock where I came in, because I uh, you know I can kind of remember where I came from and where I'm going roughly. Um, and I do have a compass you can see at the bottom there. But uh, besides that, you know, it's very easy to get lost in this maze because it's, you know, it's never the same thing twice. Right, so, um, you know, point of the game is to download these data cores. You just saw, I just downloaded one from that terminal over there. You just walk up to it, you right click on it, and uh, you download it. And I'm activating these sentry guns, which will fire at anything that moves except for me, which means, you know, they will take out those aliens when I'm not around. So, um, you know, right, right now what I'm doing is I'm just looking for basically anything I can get. Sentries are, are great because when you activate them, they've sort of got your back. The data cores, you need to download them in order to progress with the game and to win the game. But not only that, um, as you get them, uh, as you download them, your experience goes up. And as you gain experience, you will every now and then get a kind of random power-up. And as I play through here, you'll see a few more of, of those. Um, you know, my motion tracker at the bottom of the screen will get better. Um, it will 
you know, there are power-ups where it will let me see the layout of the map a little bit better. Um, there are power-ups that will let me carry more ammo, although I haven't quite figured out how to reload my ammo yet. Okay, something's close. Oh jeez. Yes. <laughs> this can be stressful. Where are they? Where are they? Sentry, thank you. So, oh, they're coming through that door. So in order to activate a computer terminal, you just need to stand by it after you click it and wait for it to finish. If you walk away from it, you will basically lose your progress. Alright, there we go. Yes. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Some more of them. Let my sentry gun do the work. Alright. Make a run for it. There we go, data core. So you do have limited ammo, of course, just to make things worse. Right now I have uh, 545 shots. You can see that up um, in the status bar. Up there. I found that if you kind of hold down the trigger, the problem is this muzzle flash is so bright I'll show you real quick. It really does obscure your view for a second, and um, you know, so if you just hold the button down, you can't see anything. You need to fire in short bursts um, unless you're really in trouble. All right, got my sentry done doing doing some work for me back there. I'm going to close this door. So if they try to come after me from that direction, they will have to break the door down. My sentry again. Alright, another sentry. Good. And you know, the, I, I just love the fact that the graphics in this game are simple and to the point. It doesn't, I mean, it looks great. It doesn't need to be any better than this. And it totally, I mean, I'm sitting at home right now, alone, in the dark. <laughs> with uh, my headphones in and the volume turned up and it is uh, it is freaky. I mean when when you are surrounded and they're closing in the noise, you know, they start shrieking and you know it's uh, nerve-wracking. Okay, cool. So I just got an upgrade to my map. You can see at the bottom now I can uh, I can see some basic information about the map. Before it was just a compass that had some blips when uh, aliens were nearby, but uh, this is helpful. This gives me a little more information. So you might have noticed, I don't know, well, maybe, maybe you didn't notice this, but ever since I started the map, I have no idea where I'm going, uh, but I always turn right. I just follow them, follow the right wall. Every chance I get, turn right, and then I figure that way, you know, eventually, I'll get the whole perimeter of the map, and uh, you know, from there I work my way into the center. So I've only been playing this game for maybe half an hour at this point, an hour, and uh, so I certainly haven't gotten it all figured out yet, but I have kind of gotten some basic ideas of strategy. So this is the reactor core, and I believe after you I haven't gotten this far, but after you have downloaded all of the data, you need to kind of make the ship self-destruct. And so you you leak the coolant out of the reactor core, and it will uh, start to blow up, at which point you have to make it back to the airlock and get out of the ship before it uh, is destroyed. So, you know, that's the that's basically the game. Uh, right now it's... It's not even, I, I don't think the developer would even call this beta, this is alpha, you know. Still just figuring out what kind of game this is going to be. Um, probably going to add some new features as time goes on. Um, but, you know, it's really lean right now. Oh, there's the airlock, I'm back where I started. 
All right, so I have the perimeter covered. Time to uh, start delving into the center of the ship, I guess. Um, right, so, uh, what was I saying? Game is in alpha, oh right, yeah, it's really lean, you know. You, uh, you run, you shoot, you open things, you close things, you download data, and you activate sentries, and that's the whole game. Um, but even then, it's a great experience. Alright. Alright, we've got some motion here. By the way, now my map has been updated to... Hello. Just a second, sorry. My map has been updated. There's a little white dot that appears, which will then, if I follow that, it's basically like a little navigation unit that guides me to the nearest abilities. The nearest, <laughs> the nearest data core, and I need to get the data cores in order to, you know, jeez, in order to uh, finish the level. So, okay, backpedaling. Tell me where to go. Just following the dots. As you can see, if you look at my map now, you know, as I keep getting these upgrades, life gets a little easier. I can see more of the map, and, uh, oh, okay, and, uh, you know, the layout becomes a little more, a little more apparent, so having that information is very helpful. Okay, tell me where to go. There we go, two data cores right next to each other. Three! It's all the data right here. Where's all the data? If you get that reference, you're a big nerd. And you were uh, born in the 80s, probably. Like me. Alright. I haven't seen many aliens lately. I'm lucky. There have been maps where I killed, I mean, maybe a hundred of them in one in one shot. Did I seriously get all of them? Oh man. It's guiding me to the uh, reactor. Oh no, okay, I see. I just have, I have a tracker now that shows me how to get to the reactor, as well as how to get to the data core. So the red dot must be pointing to the reactor. The white dot is pointing to the nearest data core. Okay. Oh, so that update is infrared vision. This is great. I've, uh... Is it, are you active? Okay. You're not active. There we go. And you can actually, I mean, you can look at the screens of these things when you're activating them and you can see what's going on, but it makes much more sense to uh, watch your back, see what's behind you. Alrighty, where's my data core? Do I, do I have all the data cores? It's, it's, yeah! I've never gotten this far. It's directing me to the coolants. And I got really lucky this game, I mean, I haven't had to, uh, I haven't had to, uh, do much in the way of fighting. Where are all the aliens? I'll take it, I guess, but I mean, every other playthrough of this game I just got absolutely destroyed. Okay. Oh, okay. Disable. Should probably actually pay attention to what I'm doing right now. Alrighty. I feel like there must be something going on here. Maybe all my sentries have been shooting up the aliens, I don't know. But... It is shockingly quiet in here. Guessing... as this is an alpha, <laughs> maybe this is a bug? Alright. Emergency. All personnel must 
Yep, I'm evacuating. Pretty easy, there are no aliens around. Okay, so... Somehow I uh, managed to win because there were like no aliens in that one, so let's uh let's give uh let's give the next map a try. Let's see how this goes. So I'm getting messages there. Uh yeah, I'll stick with my previous strategy and stay to the stay to the right. There's some messages down there on the bottom of the screen. Every now and then you get a little blip. On the bottom of your screen, your your vision kind of shakes a little bit, and uh, that is to tell you that the aliens have broken through a door somewhere. So you know they are elsewhere on the ship at this point, and uh, they're kind of uh, doing their thing. Also, all of the uh, doors have numbers. So in the early game, when you don't have a map. Oh, now we have some aliens on the radar. There we go. You know, when your map is not active, uh, that does help to find your bearings a little bit. Alrighty. So many sentries. Strange. It's so quiet. This is not at all like the other playthroughs I've had. I mean, I get I'm getting blips on my radar here, but you know, they're kind of keeping their distance right now. If they're smart enough to know that I have all these sentries activated down here. There we go. Sentry behind me to keep me safe. I'm gonna activate this sentry, hopefully. Come on. There we go. Okay. Ooh, a lot of them. There we go. See, that's what I'm used to seeing in this game. Like, hallways that are just totally full of aliens and absolutely impossible to navigate. Okay. okay. I got what I wished for. There we go. Sentry's up. Let's see if I can get this one. Oh, jeez. See, this is what this game is. Is right. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh man, I almost died right there. Okay, alright. Now I'm being stupid, but I really want to get this sentry up. Okay, there we go. Alright, now it's getting real. Okay. Another sentry back here. By the way, sentries have limited ammo. I guess I forgot to mention that earlier. But they will not protect you forever. And um, there is an infinite number of aliens. They, uh, they'll just keep coming. 
I don't know why they didn't on the last map, but uh, I'm pretty sure they just spawned forever, so. Oh, 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 oh. There's no way I'd be alive right now if I didn't have all these sentries. Alright, 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 alright. This will help me see. Yeah, now I can't, I mean... This is what I'm used to the game being like. I got exceptionally lucky on that last playthrough. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, I kind of want to let my sentries take care of these guys. Just happened. I think uh, I think one of them snuck up on me from behind. Sneaked up on me? I don't know. <sighs> Ooh. That is intense. So uh, I think I'm gonna leave it there. So that is Space Beast Space Beast Terror Fright. Space Beast Terror Fright. Uh, from uh, Nornware A B. Demo is free. Check it out on their website. Uh, www.nornware.com. Alright, thanks for watching.